Hi everyone, Brie here from Edge Actuarial, and in today's video I'm talking about how you can pass exam P and FM, your first two actuarial exams, in just seven months. Now before we get into this video, I just want to say that it's definitely possible to pass both these exams in less time, but this video is geared more towards people that are either working full time or they're in school and have other coursework and exams that they have to study for and really only have about three hours per day to study for actuarial exams. If that's you, then it's certainly possible to pass both these exams in seven months, but it's still gonna be a pretty rigorous schedule. It's not gonna be easy by any means. Okay, so a lot of people, when they want to try to pass these exams as quickly as possible, they consider writing exam P and FM at the same time. And I highly recommend you don't do that. If you really have time to study for both exams at the same time, then what you should do is study for one fully, like focus all your attention on just one of those exams and then write it sooner rather than spreading out your study period over a longer period of time and then studying for two at the same time and writing them both later. Instead, focus all your energy on one, write it sooner and then move on to the next one. Okay, I just want to say that because so many people come to me and they think it or they they wonder whether it would be a good idea to study for both of them at the same time and I, I really don't ever think it is a good idea. There are a few very uncommon situations where I do suggest doing that but generally I don't. So just focus all your attention on one exam and then move on to the next one. Okay so if you want to get both of these exams out of the way in seven months and still have 14 weeks to study for each exam, then you're going to have to do some planning beforehand. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I do recommend that you spend at least 14 weeks preparing for each exam because, well, for someone that doesn't have a whole lot of time to study each day, that's just how long it usually takes. For some people, they're going to need a little more time and others will need a little less. It depends on how focused you are during your studying and just how well you understand the material beforehand and how well you catch on to the material. But everyone's different, so it's going to take a different amount of time for everyone. But generally, 14 weeks is enough for exam P and FM for each of them. So if you want to start studying tomorrow, let's say, you should first figure out 14 weeks from tomorrow's date and then you should look at the SOA CBT exam windows. CPT stands for computer based testing. Exam P and FM are both done on a computer for most people. So you can see the exam window for exam P and FM. If you don't already know, exam P is offered in alternating months from exam FM. So exam P would be offered in January, March, May, etc. And FM would be offered in the alternating months, so February, April, June, etc. So you're depending on where the 14 weeks falls, that's going to dictate which exam you write first. It doesn't matter whether you write exam P or FM first, you're going to have to write them both anyways. But for most people, FM tends to be the easier one, just because it doesn't have as much calculus. But either way, if the exam P window is the next one coming up after your 14 weeks, then just write exam P first, even though it might be the harder one. You can get it out of the way first. Okay, so, oh, and I was going to mention, um, to find those CBT dates, just enter, or just Google SOA CBT exam dates 2019 or whatever year you're watching this video in and looking for those should be the first result you get there. Okay, next you are going to figure out the study materials that you're going to purchase. I will link in the description of this video my exam P and FM recommendations. I have a blog post for each of those, but really quickly, I will say that for exam P, I recommend you go with the ACTEC study manual or the coaching actuaries learn plus adapt bundle. And if you're writing exam FM, I'd suggest the ASM manual or the Coaching Actuaries Learn Plus Adapt bundle. And really, the study materials that you choose will depend on your budget, uh, whether you prefer video lessons or reading, 
and there's a few other factors that you can consider but the post that I will link to in this description uh, the description of this video will explain all that so definitely go check that out before you purchase any study materials okay now once you have your study materials you're going to start your studying Again, I will link study schedules that I've created that are 14 weeks long. I will link them in the description of this video for exam P and FM. But in general, you're going to spend your first one third of your study period going through all your study materials. You should try to understand things at about 75%, which means that you don't really have to fully understand everything that you go through in your study materials, but you should have a fairly good understanding of each topic. When you're really going to start testing that is in the second uh, third of your study material. And this is the time when you're going to start doing hundreds of practice problems. You can get practice problems from a variety of different sources. There's uh, the SOA practice problems, TIA, and in your study materials, there's probably others. But you should go through questions from a variety of different sources and most importantly, make sure that you fully understand the solution to every practice problem that you do. If you are having trouble with a problem, make sure that you ask someone. You have to figure out for every single solution, you have to figure out what's going wrong because that's the best way to learn and increase the number of questions that you get right. Okay, and then your very last one third of your study period is going to spend, be spent doing practice exams. Now, I recommend you do practice exams four or five times a week if you can and work up to a level of 80%. Now, on the real exam, you're probably not going to have to reach 80% in order to pass, but by reaching that level when you are studying and doing practice exams, it's going to ensure that you're very well prepared for the real exam. And even if you don't quite reach that level on the real exam, you'll probably be okay. But it's good to be able to reach 80% on your practice exams. There are lots of different sources for practice exams. Uh, ADAPT is a great one. If you get the Coaching Actuaries bundle, it's included, but you may choose to purchase that for just, just adapt separately for your last 30 days or so. For practice exams, there's GOAL, which is included with the ASM and ACTEC study manual, and the SOA provides practice exams, TIA has practice exams that are free. So you can search and get a whole bunch of different sources of practice exams and try them all. Okay, so I think that's all. I guess one thing I didn't mention in this video is that you're going to be doing two exams pretty much back to back since you want to pass them both in seven months. So your first exam, you should try to write that one closer to the beginning of the exam window, which is not something I usually recommend because I usually uh, want you to write a little later in the exam period so that you have more time to study. But like I said, since you're trying to get 14 weeks for, of study time for both these exams, you should write the first one at the beginning of the exam window and then start studying right away for your next exam and write the second one closer to the end of the exam window. So I hope this helps. If you want help studying for your first exam or your second one or both of them, I would be glad to help you in the study strategy program. That's my program where I work with you personally and guide you step by step along the way to passing your exams and then you don't have to worry about whether you're doing things right. I make sure you have a study schedule that's updated daily so that you know specifically what you have to get done every single day. So I'd love to work with you. I will leave a link to the study strategy program in the description of this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!